So I hope this gives you a better understanding on how to calculate and how much energy is in a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. How much energy is really in this 100 amp hour battery? What do these numbers mean? Well today I'm going to try my best to explain for you what these numbers mean and how much energy and what we can use this 100 amp hour battery for. So stick around. So most people would know 12.8 um, volts, pretty common standard voltage. 100 amp hours is the capacity, which is the capacity of the battery and 12.8 times 100 amps is your 1280 watt hours. So your watt hours is basically the energy that you can get out of this battery. So we know a full charged 100 amp hour battery, lithium ion phosphate battery, can deliver 1280 watt hours. With this light here, as you can see, this is 8 watts. So if we were to run this for one hour, that would be 8 watt hours. This 32 inch smart TV is 45 watts roughly to run. And if we were to run this TV for one hour, it's 45 watt hours. So we know we can calculate if we wanted to run this TV for 10 hours, for example, 45 times 10 is 450 watt hours. Do keep in mind that most lithium, lithium iron phosphate packs will have limits to the amount that you can get out of them at any given time. They do have a BMS, which is a battery management system that protects the battery from overcurrent, low voltage and high voltage protection and many other protections. So, for example, this 100 amp hour battery will have a 100 amp continuous output so we can continuously draw, for example, 100 amp hours at 12.8 volts is 1000 280 watts so we can run items continuously up to collectively up to 1280 watts so this this 12 volt battery won't run a kettle for example because kettles can be 2000 to 2800 watts so this battery won't be able to run kettles and bigger items like that But luckily, you can buy low wattage kettles. This one here, for example, if you can see that, 680 to 800 watts. So we know that that is under 1,280 watt hours, or watts, sorry. So we know that this kettle will run just fine off this 12 volt battery. So let's work out how many hours we can run that TV, this light and this kettle to really get an understanding on how much energy is in this battery. If you're finding value out of this video, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, it doesn't cost you anything but it really helps me out. It helps give me the confidence to keep going with this channel and hopefully improve and get better and better over time so I appreciate it guys appreciate your support you want to keep in mind that in order to run these appliances here you're going to need an, an inverter and the inverter will draw some power as well typically a good quality sine wave sine wave inverter will be around 90 to 95 percent efficient you also need an inverter that will be able to power over 800 watts to run this kettle so keep that in mind i did some quick calculations here so 1280 watts minus 10 percent for the inverter a high quality inverter 
that leaves you with 1,152 watt hours left in this battery to run our TV, our light and our kettle. So we established that our TV is 45 watts. So if we want to run that TV for 10 hours, that's going to use 450 watt hours. This light is 8 watts. So to use that for 10 hours, to say we wanted to use that for 10 hours, that would use 80 watt hours. And with this kettle, I have used it before and it does draw around 600 watts. So some quick calculations to get the watt hours and work out how much this will use per boil every time you use the kettle so we want to go this is 600 watts we'll divide that by 60 which is an hour 600 watts divide that by 60 and that gives us 10 watts per minute that this will use this kettle takes around 10 minutes to boil so if we times that by 10 that leaves us with 100 watts so we'll take 100 watts or 100 watt hours to boil this kettle every time so now we know that this kettle takes 100 watts if we wanted to boil this kettle for say three times a day one in the morning a cup of tea at lunchtime and once again in the afternoon that's going to be 300 watt hours and if we tie if we add all those together the telly for 10 hours is 450 we've got our light for 10 hours is 80 watt hours plus the kettle three times is 300 watt hours so to use the kettle, the light and the telly, we'll use a total of 830 watt hours and that leaves us with 320 watt hours left in this battery. So we could go ahead and, for example, add a couple more lights. We can boil this kettle a few more times as well. So I hope this gives you a better understanding on how to calculate and how much energy is in a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. I hope I've made sense to you guys.